start early. Ask everyone you know. Learn from your mistakes. Because that's what colleges see first and that's the first idea they will get of you. You do not want them to know that. So this is my way of filming in bed. I'm trying something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be giving you guys advice on your common application, but I also have a couple errands to run, so let's go. My first and biggest piece of advice is to start early. The hardest part is making sure you have everything looking nice, spelled correctly, and well worded. The sooner you start, the better it will all be. I don't know what I want to wear today. That's better. Okay, and here's your second tip. I don't have one. I'm back with my phone that contains my list of notes. Second tip. Ask for help. Ask your teachers. Ask your friends. Ask your parents. Ask everyone you know to look over your essays and to look over your entire Common App. And I mean the entire Common App. Right before you submit your application to a school, they give you the option to preview and you get this big PDF of like your entire essay of what is sent to the school. So preview that and print it out and read through it. Hand it to your parents. Hand it to someone else. Ask them to edit it. And I mean edit it. Like make sure they like get a pen and fill out notes so they can look at your activities and see how you're wording them and if you could word them better or if you filled something out wrong or if you spelled something wrong just ask other people for help like the fact that you wrote it yourself will make you glaze over your own mistakes time to get less blind this is random but i love daily contacts like seriously if you have to choose between what kind of contacts you want to get you should get, definitely get with dailies. They're just so much less stress and responsibility. And I just love the fact that I can just throw them away. And like all the people who have like weeklies or monthlies always stress about losing them and all that stuff. And I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the money to go for the dailies. Okay, let's go. Oh wait, before I head out, I want to talk about the activity section of the Common App, which is arguably the hardest section to fill out. So when you're ranking them in order, or I don't know if it's rank, but when you're listing them, make sure you're listing your most impressive activities or the activities you're most passionate about first, because that's what colleges see first, and that's the first idea they will get of you, like in reference to your extracurriculars, of course. Make sure you're listing the activities that you have most involvement with and you've spent the most time and you're most passionate about. And make sure you're listing activities that relate to your major or what you want to do in the future earlier. Colleges want to see that you're passionate about something and you're driven towards some goal. If you don't know what you want to do in the future, don't worry. Just make sure you're just showing your passions in other ways. Forgot my keys. Oh my gosh, it's hot in here. Another piece of advice is to actually answer the question that is being asked of you. This sounds pretty simple, but a lot of students tend to skate around the question or to copy and paste your writing from other essays and apply them to a bunch of different prompts, which I do think that's a good strategy, especially if you're applying to a lot of colleges because it takes a lot of time to write these essays, but make sure you're actually asking the question because that's going to make a significant difference in your college application experience. So if they ask, identify a mistake you made and evaluate like what you learned from it. Find a mistake you actually made. Don't say, oh I accidentally like worked too hard or something like BS like that, you know? You need to actually find the answers to the questions in a real way and then you have to show that you even if you made that mistake, that you have improved from it and you know how to learn from your mistakes. And do that with any prompt, even if it sounds like it's going to put you in a bad light. Let's listen to some music.
Okay, I'm at the mall. I need to go pick up some things. I'm gonna attempt to vlog in public. I already see this lady staring at me. So, wish me luck. I'm doing this for you guys. Yeah, it's really awkward to vlog in public, but back. Here I am with another piece of advice. I'm gonna walk somewhere that's like not awkward. My next piece of advice is to not feel the pressure to use the maximum word count. The Common App essay is the 650 word limit and a lot of the, and like usually it's like 200 for short answers or something. And do not feel the pressure to go all the way to 650 or 250 or whatever the number is. Because honestly, if you can write a good essay that's only 500 words, that's all you need because colleges do not want excess information. But saying that, do not go up to the minimum word count either. Just make sure you are answering the question in a concise and sufficient manner and you will be good. So as I was walking out, a security guard came up to me and told me I wasn't allowed to film inside the mall. Oh, this girl in front of me is staring at me. So I'm going to stop for a second and pretend like I'm on my phone. <laughs> Okay, you guys should drop a like because I'm doing this for you guys. So, please like and subscribe. Anyway, another piece of advice is to use every aspect of your common app to show a different part of yourself in the best possible way. It is hard to explain who you are as a person on one application, so you have to do your best and show different parts of yourself in different parts of the application. I don't know if that made sense. For example, if you have multiple short answers for a particular school, make sure you're talking about different extracurriculars or different activities you're involved in, and you're not just talking about the same activity over and over again. And with that, don't talk about the same honors and the same volunteer things and the same people. Going off of talking about people, I'm not saying don't talk about people in your essay, but do not only talk about the person. Like if you really love your mom or your grandma, don't just highlight, oh, this is why I love my grandma, blah, 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 in your essay. Show, oh, this is what kind of person my grandma is, and this is what kind of person I am because of her, and make sure you're just tying everything back to yourself and your own personal self-growth, and that's how you talk about other people. I will say it's a tricky topic when you, when you highlight an essay on another person, so be careful. Okay, now let's skedaddle because I cannot handle someone else staring at me. Okay, so I got too scared to film in public after being told I can't film at the mall. So, I got food, and now it's a mukbang. Let's see what I, what I have bought. Um, this ice cream cookie thing that has melted french fries and some chicken nuggets. Wow. Thanks, Wendy's. Not sponsored. Okay, so I don't know how to talk and eat at the same time, so I'm just going to run through all the advice that I had left for this video. First, have a strong structure of your essay, because if your essay's a mess, then the reader will think you're a mess, and that might be true, but you do not want them to know that. For the why this college essay, make sure you actually research the college. I know it's hard because a lot of colleges tend to blend together and have the same or similar attributes. When you have specific details towards the college, the college wants to accept you more. And make sure when you're writing those essays, you're showing how you personally would perfectly fit in their atmosphere, not why you just love that college because they know their college is amazing. They just want to know how you will contribute to that amazing environment. Next is the additional information section, and you can use it, you cannot, it is all up to you. A lot of people choose not to use it because they don't really have anything to say. If you have any accentuating circumstances, such as an illness or something like that that caused you to have worse grades, I personally use the additional information section to add in some more details about the extracurriculars that I was involved in, since the activity section is so short. A lot of people don't use this section, but you should be aware that is another place where you can explain yourself more. Now we're going to talk about deadlines. You need to be finishing your applications at least a day before it is actually due. And I know that's hard, especially when there's all the January 1st and January 2nd dates. So I understand if you have like one application, you need to turn it on the day. But even if you're turning it in on the day that it's due, make sure it's a couple hours earlier at least. It is not just pressing the submit button because you need to pay 
like you need to enter your credit information, you need to read through the agreement, you need to read through the PDF preview of your application. There's a lot to do right before you submit it, so make sure you are giving yourself at least close as like an hour to read over everything, submit your information, so you make sure you're putting your best foot forward. Along with deadlines, make sure you're asking your recommenders for their recommendations months and months beforehand. This is their schedule. You cannot control it, and if you're asking a day or two before, they will have a bad last image of you as they write that recommendation. And it's just more courteous and respectful to ask early, and it doesn't hurt. For the Common App, you literally just enter in their email, and they will fill it out all themselves. So it doesn't take time, it doesn't take a lot of effort to just ask them beforehand. And then you don't have to stress about it anymore since your recommendations are in, you can focus on other parts of your application. So that's all the advice I had prepared for this video, and I'm hungry and I want to eat. So if you want a part two, comment that down below. Make sure you drop a thumbs up if this video helped you anyway. Hit that share button and send this to anyone that you think could help. And make sure you subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.